Noether's first theorem states that every differentiable symmetry of the action of a physical system has a corresponding conservation law. The theorem was proven by mathematician Emmy Noether in 1915 and published in 1918, although a special case was proven by E. Cossarat and F. Cossarat in 1909. The action of a physical system is the integral over time of a Lagrangian function which may or may not be an integral over space of a Lagrangian density function, from which the system's behavior can be determined by the principle of least action. This theorem only applies to continuous symmetries over physical space. Noether's theorem is used in theoretical physics and the calculus of variations. A generalization of the formulations on constants of motion in Lagrangian and Hamiltonian mechanics developed in 1788 and 1833, respectively, it does not apply to systems that cannot be modeled with a Lagrangian alone e.g. systems with a Rayleigh dissipation function. In particular, dissipative systems with continuous symmetries need not have a corresponding conservation law. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Basic illustrations and background. As an illustration, if a physical system behaves the same regardless of how it is oriented in space, its Lagrangian is symmetric under continuous rotations. From this symmetry, Noether's theorem dictates that the angular momentum of the system be conserved, as a consequence of its laws of motion. The physical system itself need not be symmetric, a jagged asteroid tumbling in space conserves angular momentum despite its asymmetry. It is the laws of its motion that are symmetric. As another example, if a physical process exhibits the same outcomes regardless of place or time, then its Lagrangian is symmetric under continuous translations in space and time respectively. By Noether's theorem, these symmetries account for the conservation laws of linear momentum and energy within this system, respectively. As a final example, if the behavior of a physical system does not change upon spatial or temporal reflection, then its Lagrangian has reflection symmetry and time reversal symmetry respectively. Noether's theorem says that these symmetries result in the conservation laws of parity and entropy, respectively. Noether's theorem is important, both because of the insight it gives into conservation laws, and also as a practical calculational tool. It allows investigators to determine the conserved quantities invariance from the observed symmetries of a physical system. Conversely, it allows researchers to consider whole classes of hypothetical Lagrangians with given invariance, to describe a physical system. As an illustration, suppose that a physical theory is proposed which conserves a quantity x a researcher can calculate the types of Lagrangians that conserve x through a continuous symmetry. Due to Noether's theorem, the properties of these Lagrangians provide further criteria to understand the implications and judge the fitness of the new theory. There are numerous versions of Noether's theorem, with varying degrees of generality. The original version applied only to ordinary differential equations used for describing distinct particles and not partial differential equations used for describing fields. The original versions also assume that the Lagrangian depends only upon the first derivative, while later versions generalize the theorem to Lagrangians depending on the nth derivative. There are natural quantum counterparts of this theorem, expressed in the Ward-Takahashi identities. Generalizations of Noether's theorem to superspaces also exist. Topic: <laughs> Informal statement of the theorem. All fine technical points aside, Noether's theorem can be stated informally. If a system has a continuous symmetry property, then there are corresponding quantities whose values are conserved in time. A more sophisticated version of the theorem involving fields states that to every differentiable symmetry generated by local actions there corresponds a conserved current. The word symmetry in the above statement refers more precisely to the covariance of the form that a physical law takes with respect to a one-dimensional Lie group of transformations satisfying certain technical criteria. The conservation law of a physical quantity is usually expressed as a continuity equation. The formal proof of the theorem utilizes the condition of invariance to derive an expression for a current associated with a conserved physical quantity. 
In modern since CA 1980 terminology, the conserved quantity is called the noether charge, while the flow carrying that charge is called the noether current. The noether current is defined up to a solenoidal divergenceless vector field. In the context of gravitation, Felix Klein's statement of Noether's theorem for action I stipulates for the invariance. If an integral I is invariant under a continuous group G rho with rho parameters, then rho linearly independent combinations of the Lagrangian expressions are divergences. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Historical context. A conservation law states that some quantity x in the mathematical description of a system's evolution remains constant throughout its motion. It is an invariant. Mathematically, the rate of change of x, its derivative with respect to time, is zero. d x d t equals zero. Display style frac d x d t equals zero tilde. Such quantities are said to be conserved, they are often called constants of motion although motion per se need not be involved, just evolution in time. For example, if the energy of a system is conserved, its energy is invariant at all times, which imposes a constraint on the system's motion and may help in solving for it. Aside from insights that such constants of motion give into the nature of a system, they are a useful calculational tool. For example, an approximate solution can be corrected by finding the nearest state that satisfies the suitable conservation laws. The earliest constants of motion discovered were momentum and energy, which were proposed in the 17th century by Rene Descartes and Gottfried Leibniz on the basis of collision experiments, and refined by subsequent researchers. Isaac Newton was the first to enunciate the conservation of momentum in its modern form, and showed that it was a consequence of Newton's third law. According to general relativity, the conservation laws of linear momentum, energy and angular momentum are only exactly true globally when expressed in terms of the sum of the stress-energy tensor non-gravitational stress-energy and the Landau-Lifshitz stress-energy momentum pseudotensor gravitational stress-energy. The local conservation of non-gravitational linear momentum and energy in a free-falling reference frame is expressed by the vanishing of the covariant divergence of the stress-energy tensor. Another important conserved quantity, discovered in studies of the celestial mechanics of astronomical bodies, is the laplace runge lenz vector. In the late 18th and early 19th centuries, physicists developed more systematic methods for discovering invariants. A major advance came in 1788 with the development of Lagrangian mechanics, which is related to the principle of least action. In this approach, the state of the system can be described by any type of generalized coordinates q. The laws of motion need not be expressed in a Cartesian coordinate system, as was customary in Newtonian mechanics. The action is defined as the time integral i of a function known as the Lagrangian L i equals L Q Q T D T display style i equals intel math bf q dot math bf q t d t tilde where the dot over q signifies the rate of change of the coordinates q q equals d q d t Display style dot math bf q equals frac d math bf q dt tilde. Hamilton's principle states that the physical path q t, the one actually taken by the system, is a path for which infinitesimal variations in that path cause no change in i, at least up to first order. This principle results in the Euler-Lagrange equations d d t l Q equals L Q display style frac d dt left frac partial L partial dot math bf q right equals frac partial L partial math bf q tilde. Thus, if one of the coordinates, say q k, does not appear in the Lagrangian, the right-hand side of the equation is zero, and the left-hand side requires that d d 
T L Q K equals D P K D T equals zero Display style frac D D T left frac partial L partial dot Q underscore K right equals frac D P underscore K D T equals zero tilde where the momentum P K equals L Q K display style P underscore K equals frac partial L partial dot Q underscore K is conserved throughout the motion on the physical path. Thus, the absence of the ignorable coordinate qk from the Lagrangian implies that the Lagrangian is unaffected by changes or transformations of qk, the Lagrangian is invariant, and is said to exhibit a symmetry under such transformations. This is the seed idea generalized in Noether's theorem. Several alternative methods for finding conserved quantities were developed in the 19th century, especially by William Rowan Hamilton. For example, he developed a theory of canonical transformations which allowed changing coordinates so that some coordinates disappeared from the Lagrangian, as above, resulting in conserved canonical momenta. Another approach, and perhaps the most efficient for finding conserved quantities, is the Hamilton-Jacobi equation. Topic: Mathematical expression. Topic: Simple form using perturbations. The essence of Noether's theorem is generalizing the ignorable coordinates outlined. One can assume that the Lagrangian L defined above is invariant under small perturbations warpings of the time variable t and the generalized coordinates q. One may write t t equals t plus delta t display style t right arrow t caret prime equals t plus delta t q q equals q plus delta q display style math bfq right arrow math bfq caret prime equals math bfq plus delta math bfq tilde where the perturbations delta t and delta q are both small but variable for generality, assume there are say, n such symmetry transformations of the action, i.e. transformations leaving the action unchanged, labeled by an index r equals 1, 2, 3, n. Then the resultant perturbation can be written as a linear sum of the individual types of perturbations delta t equals r epsilon r t r Display style delta t equals sum underscore r var epsilon underscore r t underscore r delta q equals r epsilon r q r display style delta math bf q equals sum underscore r var epsilon underscore r math bf q underscore r tilde where epsilon r are infinitesimal parameter coefficients corresponding to each generator tr of time evolution and generator qr of the generalized coordinates for translations qr is a constant with units of length for rotations it is an expression linear in the components of q and the parameters make up an angle using these definitions noether showed that the n quantities l q Q minus L T R minus L Q Q R display style left frac partial L partial dot math BF Q C D O T dot math BF Q L right T underscore R frac partial L partial dot math BF Q C D O T math BF Q underscore R 
which have the dimensions of energy time plus momentum length equals action a conserved constants of motion equals topic examples equals time invariance for illustration consider a lagrangian that does not depend on time ie that is invariant symmetric under changes tt plus delta t without any change in the coordinates q in this case n equals 1 t topic 1 and q 0 the corresponding conserved quantity is the total energy h h equals l q q minus l display style h equals frac partial l partial dot math bf q c dot dot math bf q l translational invariancy consider a lagrangian which does not depend on an ignorable as above coordinate qk so it is invariant symmetric under changes qk qk plus delta qk in that case n topic 1 t 0 and qk equals 1 the conserved quantity is the corresponding momentum pk p k equals l Q K display style P underscore K equals frac partial L partial dot Q underscore K in special and general relativity these apparently separate conservation laws are aspects of a single conservation law that of the stress energy tensor that is derived in the next section rotational invariance the conservation of the angular momentum L equals R times P is analogous to its linear momentum counterpart it is assumed that the symmetry of the Lagrangian is rotational, i.e., that the Lagrangian does not depend on the absolute orientation of the physical system in space. For concreteness, assume that the Lagrangian does not change under small rotations of an angle d -th about an axis n. Such a rotation transforms the Cartesian coordinates by the equation r r plus delta theta n times r display style math bf r right arrow math bf r plus delta theta math bf n times math bf r since time is not being transformed t equals 0 taking d as the epsilon parameter and the cartesian coordinates r as the generalized coordinates q the corresponding q variables are given by q equals n times r display style math bf q equals math bf n times math bf r then noether's theorem states that the following quantity is conserved l q q r equals p n times r equals n R times P equals N L display style frac partial L partial dot math BF Q C D O T math BF Q underscore R equals math BF P C D O T left math BF N times math BF R right equals math BF N C D O T left math BF R times math BF P right equals math BF N C D O T math BF L in other words the component of the angular momentum L along the n axis is conserved if n is arbitrary, i.e., if the system is insensitive to any rotation, then every component of L is conserved, in short, angular momentum is conserved. <laughs> Field theory version Although useful in its own right, the version of Noether's theorem just given is a special case of the general version derived in 1915. 
to give the flavor of the general theorem, a version of the Noether theorem for continuous fields in four-dimensional spacetime is now given. Since field theory problems are more common in modern physics than mechanics problems, this field theory version is the most commonly used or most often implemented version of Noether's theorem. Let there be a set of differentiable fields phi display style var phi defined over all space and time, for example, the temperature t x t display style t math bf x t would be representative of such a field being a number defined at every place and time the principle of least action can be applied to such fields but the action is now an integral over space and time s equals l phi mu phi x mu d for x display style mathcal s equals int mathcal l left var phi partial underscore mu var phi x caret mu right d caret for x. The theorem can actually be further generalized to the case where the Lagrangian depends on up to the nth derivative using jet bundles. A continuous transformation of the fields phi display style var phi can be written infinitesimally as phi phi plus epsilon psi display style var phi mapsto var phi plus var epsilon psi where psi display style psi is in general a function that may depend on both x mu display style x caret mu and phi display style var phi the condition for psi display style psi to generate a physical symmetry is that the action s display style mathcal s is left invariant this will certainly be true if the lagrangian density l display style mathcal l is left invariant, but it will also be true if the Lagrangian changes by a divergence L L plus epsilon mu lambda mu display style mathcal L mapsto mathcal L plus var epsilon partial underscore mu lambda caret mu since the integral of a divergence becomes a boundary term according to the divergence theorem. A system described by a given action might have multiple independent symmetries of this type, indexed by R equals 1 2 n display style R equals 1 2 L dots n. So the most general symmetry transformation would be written as phi phi plus epsilon R Psi R display style var phi mapsto var phi plus var epsilon underscore R psi underscore R with the consequence L L plus epsilon R mu lambda R mu Display style mathcal L mapsto mathcal L plus var epsilon underscore R partial underscore mu lambda underscore R carrot mu. For such systems, Noether's theorem states that there are n display style n conserved current densities J R mu equals lambda R mu minus L Phi new psi R display style J underscore R carrot new equals lambda underscore R carrot new frac partial mathcal L partial var phi underscore new C D O T psi underscore R where the dot product is understood to contract the field indices, not the 
new display style new index or r display style r index in such cases the conservation law is expressed in a four dimensional way new j new equals 0 display style partial underscore new j caret new equals 0 which expresses the idea that the amount of a conserved quantity within a sphere cannot change unless some of it flows out of the sphere for example electric charge is conserved the amount of charge within a sphere cannot change unless some of the charge leaves the sphere for illustration, consider a physical system of fields that behaves the same under translations in time and space, as considered above. In other words, L phi mu phi x mu display style L left bold symbol var phi partial underscore mu bold symbol var phi x caret mu right is constant in its third argument. In that case, n equals 4, 1 for each dimension of space and time. An infinitesimal translation in space x mu x mu plus epsilon r delta r mu Display style x caret mu mapsto x caret mu plus ver epsilon underscore r delta underscore r caret mu with delta display style delta denoting the Kronecker delta affects the fields as phi x mu phi x mu minus epsilon R delta R mu display style var phi x caret mu mapsto var phi x caret mu var epsilon underscore R delta underscore R caret mu. That is, relabeling the coordinates is equivalent to leaving the coordinates in place while translating the field itself, which in turn is equivalent to transforming the field by replacing its value at each point. X mu display style x caret mu with the value at the point x mu minus epsilon x mu display style x caret mu ver epsilon x caret mu behind it which would be mapped onto x mu display style x caret mu by the infinitesimal displacement under consideration. Since this is infinitesimal, we may write this transformation as psi r equals minus delta r mu mu phi display style psi underscore r equals delta underscore r caret mu partial underscore mu var phi the Lagrangian density transforms in the same way. L x mu L x mu minus epsilon r delta r mu Display style mathcal L x caret mu mapsto mathcal L x caret mu ver epsilon underscore r delta underscore r caret mu. So lambda r mu equals minus delta r mu L Display style lambda underscore r caret mu equals delta underscore r caret mu mathcal l, and thus Noether's theorem corresponds to the conservation law for the stress energy tensor TMN, where we have used mu display style mu in place of r display style r. To wit, by using the expression given earlier and collecting the four conserved currents, one for each mu display style mu into a tensor 
T display style T Noether's theorem gives T mu mu equals minus delta mu mu L plus delta mu sigma sigma phi l phi mu equals l phi mu phi mu minus delta mu mu l Display style T underscore mu carrot mu equals delta underscore mu carrot mu math cal L plus delta underscore mu carrot sigma partial underscore sigma Vafi frac partial math cal L partial Vafi underscore mu equals left frac partial math cal L partial Vafi underscore mu right C D O T Vafi underscore mu delta underscore mu carrot mu math cal L with T mu 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 equals 0 display style t underscore mu caret mu underscore mu equals 0 note that we relabeled mu display style mu as sigma display style sigma at an intermediate step to avoid conflict however note that the T display style T obtained in this way may differ from the symmetric tensor used as the source term in general relativity see canonical stress energy tensor the conservation of electric charge by contrast can be derived by considering psi linear in the fields phi rather than in the derivatives in quantum mechanics, the probability amplitude psi x of finding a particle at a point x is a complex field phi, because it ascribes a complex number to every point in space and time. The probability amplitude itself is physically unmeasurable, only the probability p equals, psi, 2 can be inferred from a set of measurements. Therefore, the system is invariant under transformations of the psi field and its complex conjugate field psi asterisk that leave psi two unchanged, such as psi e i theta psi psi e minus i theta psi Display style psi right arrow e carrot i theta psi psi carrot asterisk right arrow e carrot i theta psi carrot asterisk tilde a complex rotation in the limit when the phase theta becomes infinitesimally small d that it may be taken as the parameter epsilon while the psi are equal to i psi and minus i psi asterisk respectively. A specific example is the Klein-Gordon equation, the relativistically correct version of the Schrödinger equation for spinless particles, which has the Lagrangian density L equals psi mu psi mu eta mu mu plus m two psi Psi display style l equals psi underscore mu psi underscore mu carrot asterisk eta carrot mu mu plus m carrot two psi psi carrot asterisk. In this case, Noether's theorem states that the conserved j equals zero current equals j mu equals i psi x mu psi minus psi x mu psi eta mu mu display style j caret mu equals i left frac partial psi partial x caret mu psi caret asterisk frac partial psi caret asterisk partial x caret mu psi right eta caret mu mu tilde which, when multiplied by the charge on that species of particle, equals the electric current density due to that type of particle. This 
gauge invariants was first noted by Hermann Weyl, and is one of the prototype gauge symmetries of physics. Derivations One independent variable Consider the simplest case, a system with one independent variable, time. Suppose the dependent variables q are such that the action integral i equals t 1 t 2 l q t q t t d t Display style i equals int underscore t underscore one carrot t underscore two l math bf q t dot math bf q t t d t is invariant under brief infinitesimal variations in the dependent variables. In other words, they satisfy the Euler-Lagrange equations d d t l q t equals l q t display style frac d dt frac partial l partial dot math bf q t equals frac partial l partial math bf q t and suppose that the integral is invariant under a continuous symmetry mathematically such a symmetry is represented as a flow phi which acts on the variables as follows t T equals T plus epsilon T display style T right arrow T equals T plus var epsilon T Q T Q T equals phi Q T epsilon equals phi Q T minus epsilon T epsilon display style math bf Q T right arrow math bf Q T equals var phi math bf Q T var epsilon equals var phi math bf Q T var epsilon T var epsilon where epsilon is a real variable indicating the amount of flow, and t is a real constant, which could be zero, indicating how much the flow shifts time. Q t Q t equals d d t phi Q t epsilon equals Phi Q Q T minus Epsilon T Epsilon Q T minus Epsilon T Display style dot math BF Q T right arrow dot math BF Q T equals frac D D T Vafi Math BF Q T var epsilon equals frac partial Vafi partial Math BF Q Math BF Q T var epsilon T var epsilon dot math BF Q T var epsilon T The action integral flows to I Epsilon equals T one plus Epsilon T T two plus Epsilon T L Q T Q T T D T equals T one plus Epsilon T 
T two plus epsilon T L Phi Q T minus epsilon T epsilon Phi Q Q T minus epsilon T epsilon Q T minus epsilon T T D T display style begin aligned I ver epsilon and equals int underscore T underscore one plus ver epsilon T carrot T underscore two plus ver epsilon T L Math BF Q T dot Math BF Q T T D T six P T and equals int underscore T underscore one plus ver epsilon T carrot T underscore two plus ver epsilon T L var phi Math BF Q T ver epsilon T ver epsilon frac partial var phi partial Math BF Q Math BF Q T ver epsilon T ver epsilon dot Math BF Q T ver epsilon T T D T end aligned which may be regarded as a function of epsilon. Calculating the derivative at epsilon equals zero and using Leibniz's rule, we get zero equals d i d epsilon zero equals l q t two q t two t two T minus L Q T one Q T one T one T plus T one T two L Q minus Phi Q Q T plus Phi Epsilon plus L Q minus two Phi Q two Q two T plus Two Phi Epsilon Q Q minus Phi Q Q T D T display style begin aligned zero equals and frac die D ver epsilon zero equals L Math BF Q T underscore two dot Math BF Q T underscore two T underscore two T L Math BF Q T underscore one dot Math BF Q T underscore one T underscore one T six P T and plus int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two frac partial L partial Math Math BF Q left frac partial var phi partial Math BF Q dot Math BF Q T plus frac partial var phi partial ver epsilon right plus frac partial L partial dot Math BF Q left frac partial carrot two var phi partial Math BF Q carrot two dot Math BF Q carrot two T plus frac partial carrot two var phi partial ver epsilon partial Math BF Q dot Math BF Q frac partial Var phi partial Math BF Q D D O T Math BF Q T right D T end aligned Notice that the Euler Lagrange equations imply D D T L Q Phi Q Q T equals D D T L Q Phi Q Q T plus L Q D D T Phi Q Q T plus L Q Phi Q Q T equals L Q Phi Q Q T plus L Q two Phi Q two 
Q Q T plus L Q phi Q Q T display style begin aligned frac D D T left frac partial L partial dot math B F Q frac partial Vafi partial math B F Q dot math B F Q T right and equals left frac D D T frac partial L partial dot math B F Q right frac partial Vafi partial math B F Q dot math B F Q T plus frac partial L partial dot math B F Q left Frac D D T frac partial Vafi partial Math BF Q right dot Math BF Q T plus frac partial L partial dot Math BF Q frac partial Vafi partial Math BF Q D D O T Math BF Q T six P T and equals frac partial L partial Math BF Q frac partial Vafi partial Math BF Q dot Math BF Q T plus frac partial L partial dot Math BF Q Left frac partial carrot two Vafi partial Math BF Q carrot two dot Math BF Q right dot Math BF Q T plus frac partial L partial dot Math BF Q frac partial Vafi partial Math BF Q D D O T Math BF Q T end aligned Substituting this into the previous equation, one gets zero equals D I D epsilon zero equals L Q T two Q T two T two T minus L Q T one Q T one T one T minus L Q Phi Q Q T two T plus L Q Phi Q Q T one T plus T one T two L Q Phi Epsilon plus L Q Two phi epsilon q q d t display style begin aligned zero equals and frac di d ver epsilon zero six p t equals and l math b f q t underscore two dot math b f q t underscore two t underscore two t l math b f q t underscore one dot math b f q t underscore one t underscore one t frac partial l partial dot math b f q frac partial vafi partial math b f q dot math BF Q T underscore two T plus frac partial L partial dot math BF Q frac partial Vafi partial math BF Q dot math BF Q T underscore one T six P T and plus int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two frac partial L partial math BF Q frac partial Vafi partial ver epsilon plus frac partial L partial dot math BF Q frac partial Carrot two Vafi partial ver epsilon partial Math BF Q dot Math BF Q D T End aligned Again using the Euler Lagrange equations we get D D T L Q Phi Epsilon equals D D T L Q Phi Epsilon plus L Q two Phi Epsilon Q Q equals L Q Phi Epsilon plus L Q two Phi 
epsilon q q display style frac d dt left frac partial l partial dot math bf q frac partial vafi partial var epsilon right equals left frac d dt frac partial l partial dot math bf q right frac partial vafi partial var epsilon plus frac partial l partial dot math bf q frac partial caret 2 vafi partial var epsilon partial math bf q dot math bf q equals frac partial l partial math bf q frac partial vafi partial var epsilon plus frac partial l partial dot math bf q frac partial caret 2 vafi partial var epsilon partial math bf q dot math bf q substituting this into the previous equation one gets 0 equals l q t 2 Q T two T two T minus L Q T one Q T one T one T minus L Q Phi Q Q T two T plus L Q Phi Q Q T one T Plus L Q phi epsilon T two minus L Q phi epsilon T one display style begin aligned zero equals and L Math BF Q T underscore two dot Math BF Q T underscore two T underscore two T L Math BF Q T underscore one dot Math BF Q T underscore one T underscore one T frac partial L partial dot Math BF Q frac partial Vafi partial Math BF Q dot Math BF Q T underscore two T plus frac partial L partial dot Math BF Q frac partial Vafi partial Math BF Q dot Math BF Q T underscore one T six P T and plus frac partial L partial dot Math BF Q frac partial Vafi partial var epsilon T underscore two frac partial L partial dot Math BF Q frac partial Vafi partial var epsilon T underscore one end aligned from which one can see that L Q Phi Q Q minus L T minus L Q Phi Epsilon Display style left frac partial L partial dot math BF Q frac partial Vafi partial math BF Q dot math BF Q L right T frac partial L partial dot math BF Q frac partial Vafi partial var epsilon is a constant of the motion, i.e., it is a conserved quantity. Since phi Q zero equals Q, we get phi Q equals one display style frac partial vafi partial math bf q equals one, and so the conserved quantity simplifies to l q q minus l t minus l q phi epsilon Display style left frac partial L partial dot Math BF Q dot Math BF Q L right T frac partial L partial dot Math BF Q frac partial Vafi partial var epsilon To avoid excessive complication of the formulas, this derivation assumed that the flow does not change as time passes. The same result can be obtained in the more general case. Topic: Field theoretic derivation. 
Noether's theorem may also be derived for tensor fields phi A where the index A ranges over the various components of the various tensor fields. These field quantities are functions defined over a four-dimensional space whose points are labeled by coordinates x mu where the index mu ranges over time mu. Topic 0 and 3 spatial dimensions mu. 1 2 3 these four coordinates are the independent variables and the values of the fields at each event are the dependent variables under an infinitesimal transformation the variation in the coordinates is written x mu she mu equals x mu plus delta x mu display style x caret mu right arrow she caret mu equals x caret mu plus delta x caret mu whereas the transformation of the field variables is expressed as phi a alpha a she mu equals phi a x mu plus delta phi a x mu display style var phi caret a right arrow alpha caret a she caret mu equals var phi caret a x caret mu plus delta var phi caret a x caret mu by this definition, the field variations dpha result from two factors, intrinsic changes in the field themselves and changes in coordinates, since the transformed field α a depends on the transformed coordinates xm. To isolate the intrinsic changes, the field variation at a single point x mu may be defined α a x mu equals phi a x mu plus delta phi a x mu display style alpha caret a x caret mu equals var phi caret a x caret mu plus bar delta var phi caret a x caret mu if the coordinates are changed, the boundary of the region of spacetime over which the Lagrangian is being integrated also changes. The original boundary and its transformed version are denoted as omega and omega, respectively. Noether's theorem begins with the assumption that a specific transformation of the coordinates and field variables does not change the action, which is defined as the integral of the Lagrangian density over the given region of spacetime. Expressed mathematically, this assumption may be written as Omega L alpha a alpha a new she new D four she minus Omega L Phi a Phi a new X mu d 4 x equals 0 display style int underscore omega caret prime l left alpha caret a alpha caret a underscore mu she caret mu right d caret 4 she int underscore omega l left var phi caret a var phi caret a underscore mu x caret mu right d caret 4 x equals 0 where the comma subscript indicates a partial derivative with respect to the coordinates that follows the comma, e.g. phi a sigma equals phi a x sigma display style var phi caret a underscore sigma equals frac partial var phi caret a partial x caret sigma since she is a dummy variable of integration, and since the change in the boundary omega is infinitesimal by assumption, the two integrals may be combined using the four-dimensional version of the divergence theorem into the following form: omega l 
alpha a alpha a new x mu minus l phi a phi a new x mu plus x sigma l phi a phi a mu x mu delta x sigma d four x equals zero Display style int underscore omega left left L left alpha carrot alpha carrot a underscore new x carrot mu right L left Vafi carrot a Vafi carrot a underscore new x carrot mu right right plus frac partial partial x carrot sigma left L left Vafi carrot a Vafi carrot a underscore new x carrot mu right delta x carrot sigma right right D carrot four x equals zero the difference in Lagrangians can be written to first order in the infinitesimal variations as L alpha a alpha a mu x mu minus L phi a phi a mu x mu equals L Phi a Delta Phi a plus L Phi a Sigma Delta Phi a Sigma Display style left L left alpha carrot a alpha carrot a underscore new x carrot mu right L left Vafi carrot a Vafi carrot a underscore new x carrot mu right right equals frac partial L partial Vafi carrot a bar delta Vafi carrot a plus frac partial L partial Vafi carrot a underscore sigma bar delta Vafi carrot a underscore sigma However, because the variations are defined at the same point as described above, the variation and the derivative can be done in reverse order. They commute delta phi a sigma equals delta phi a x sigma equals x sigma delta Phi display style bar delta Vafi carrot a underscore sigma equals bar delta frac partial Vafi carrot a partial x carrot sigma equals frac partial partial x carrot sigma bar delta Vafi carrot a using the Euler Lagrange field equations x sigma l phi Sigma equals L Phi a display style frac partial partial x carrot sigma left frac partial L partial Vafi carrot a underscore sigma right equals frac partial L partial Vafi carrot a the difference in Lagrangians can be written neatly as L alpha a alpha mu x mu minus l phi a phi a mu x mu equals x sigma l phi a sigma Delta Phi plus L Phi a Sigma Delta Phi a Sigma 
equals x sigma L phi a sigma delta phi a display style begin aligned and left L left alpha carrot a alpha carrot a underscore new x carrot mu right L left vafi carrot a vafi carrot a underscore new x carrot mu right right four p t equals and frac partial partial x carrot sigma left frac partial L partial vafi carrot a underscore sigma right bar delta vafi carrot a plus frac partial L partial Vafi carrot a underscore sigma bar delta Vafi carrot a underscore sigma equals frac partial partial x carrot sigma left frac partial L partial Vafi carrot a underscore sigma bar delta Vafi carrot a right end aligned. Thus, the change in the action can be written as Omega x sigma L phi Sigma delta phi plus l phi phi mu x mu delta x sigma d four x equals Zero. Display style int underscore omega frac partial partial x carrot sigma left frac partial l partial vafi carrot a underscore sigma bar delta vafi carrot a plus l left vafi carrot a vafi carrot a underscore new x carrot mu right delta x carrot sigma right d carrot four x equals zero. Since this holds for any region omega, the integrand must be zero. X sigma L phi a sigma delta phi a plus L phi a phi a new x mu delta x sigma equals zero display style frac partial partial x carrot sigma left frac partial l partial vafi carrot a underscore sigma bar delta vafi carrot a plus l left vafi carrot a vafi carrot a underscore mu x carrot mu right delta x carrot sigma right equals zero for any combination of the various symmetry transformations the perturbation can be written Delta x mu equals epsilon x mu display style delta x caret mu equals ver epsilon x caret mu delta phi equals epsilon psi equals delta phi plus epsilon l x phi a display style delta vafi caret a equals ver epsilon psi caret a equals bar delta vafi caret a plus ver epsilon mathcal l underscore x vafi caret a where l x phi Display style mathcal l underscore x vafi caret a is the Lie derivative of phi a in the x mu direction. When phi a is a scalar or x mu mu equals zero. Display style x caret mu underscore mu equals zero. L x phi equals phi x mu x mu display style mathcal l underscore x vafi caret a equals frac partial vafi caret a partial x caret mu x caret mu 
These equations imply that the field variation taken at one point equals delta phi a equals epsilon psi a minus epsilon l x phi Display style bar delta var phi carrot a equals var epsilon psi carrot a var epsilon mathcal l underscore x var phi carrot a. Differentiating the above divergence with respect to epsilon at epsilon equals zero and changing the sign yields the conservation law x sigma j sigma equals zero. Display style frac partial partial x caret sigma j caret sigma equals zero, where the conserved current equals j sigma equals l phi a sigma l x phi a minus l x Sigma minus L Phi a Sigma Psi a Display style J carrot, sigma equals left frac partial L partial Vafi carrot a underscore sigma math cal L underscore x Vafi carrot a L x carrot sigma right left frac partial L partial Vafi carrot a underscore sigma right psi carrot a Topic Manifold fiber bundle derivation Suppose we have an n-dimensional oriented Riemannian manifold M and a target manifold T. Let C display style mathcal C be the configuration space of smooth functions from M to T. More generally, we can have smooth sections of a fiber bundle over M. Examples of this M in physics include in classical mechanics, in the Hamiltonian formulation, M is the one-dimensional manifold R, representing time and the target space is the cotangent bundle of space of generalized positions. In field theory, M is the spacetime manifold and the target space is the set of values the fields can take at any given point. For example, if there are M real-valued scalar fields phi 1 phi M Display style varphi underscore one l dots varphi underscore m. Then the target manifold is room. If the field is a real vector field, then the target manifold is isomorphic to R three. Now suppose there is a functional S C R. Display style mathcal S mathcal C right arrow math B F R called the action, note that it takes values into R, rather than C, this is for physical reasons, and doesn't really matter for this proof. To get to the usual version of Noether's theorem, we need additional restrictions on the action. We assume S phi display style mathcal S var phi is the integral over M of a function L phi mu Phi x display style mathcal l var phi partial underscore mu var phi x called the Lagrangian density, depending on phi, its derivative and the position. In other words, for phi in c display style mathcal c s phi equals m l phi x mu phi x x d n x display style mathcal s var phi equals int underscore m mathcal l var phi x partial underscore mu var phi x x mathrm d caret n x Suppose we are given boundary conditions, i.e., a specification of the value of phi at the boundary if m is compact, or some limit on phi as x approaches infinity. Then the subspace of 
C display style mathcal C consisting of functions phi such that all functional derivatives of S display style mathcal S at phi are zero that is delta S phi delta phi x approximately equals 0 display style frac delta mathcal s var phi delta var phi x approximately 0 and that phi satisfies the given boundary conditions is the subspace of on shell solutions see principle of stationary action now suppose we have an infinitesimal transformation on c display style mathcal c generated by a functional derivation q such that q n l d n x approximately equals n f mu phi x phi phi d s mu Display style q left int underscore n mathcal l mathrm d caret n x right approximately int underscore partial n f caret mu var phi x partial var phi partial partial var phi l dots mathrm d s underscore mu for all compact submanifolds n or in other words q l x approximately equals mu f mu x display style q mathcal l x approximately partial underscore mu f caret mu x for all x where we set l x equals l phi x mu phi x x Display style mathcal L x equals mathcal L var phi x partial underscore mu var phi x x. If this holds on shell and off shell, we say Q generates an off shell symmetry. If this only holds on shell, we say Q generates an on shell symmetry. Then, we say Q is a generator of a one parameter symmetry Lie group. Now, for any n, because of the Euler-Lagrange theorem, on shell and only on shell, we have Q N L D N X equals N L phi minus mu L mu Phi q phi d n x plus n l mu phi q phi d s mu approximately equals n f mu d s mu. Display style begin aligned q left int underscore n mathcal l mathrm d caret n x right and equals int underscore n left frac partial mathcal l partial var phi partial underscore mu frac partial mathcal l partial partial underscore mu var phi right q var phi mathrm d caret n x plus int underscore partial n frac partial mathcal l partial partial underscore mu var phi q var phi mathrm D S underscore mu and approximately int underscore partial N F carrot mu mathrm D S underscore mu end aligned. Since this is true for any N, we have mu L mu phi q phi minus F mu approximately equals zero. Display style partial underscore mu left frac partial mathcal L partial partial underscore mu var phi q var phi f caret mu right approximately zero. But this is the continuity equation for the current j mu display style j caret mu defined by j mu equals L mu phi q phi minus 
f mu display style j caret mu equals frac partial math cal l partial partial underscore mu var phi q var phi f caret mu which is called the noether current associated with the symmetry the continuity equation tells us that if we integrate this current over a space like slice, we get a conserved quantity called the noether charge provided, of course, if m is non-compact, the currents fall off sufficiently fast at infinity. Comments <laughs> 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 Noether's theorem is an on-shell theorem, it relies on use of the equations of motion—the classical path. It reflects the relation between the boundary conditions and the variational principle. Assuming no boundary terms in the action, Noether's theorem implies that n j mu d s mu approximately equals 0 Display style int underscore partial n j caret mu mathrm d s underscore mu approximately zero tilde. The quantum analogs of Noether's theorem involving expectation values, e.g., d four x j equals zero, probing off shell quantities as well as the Ward Takahashi identities. Equals. Topic. Generalization to Lie algebras equals Suppose we have two symmetry derivations Q1 and Q2. Then, Q1, Q2 is also a symmetry derivation. Let's see this explicitly. Let's say Q1 L approximately equals mu F 1 mu display style q underscore 1 math cal l approximately partial underscore mu f underscore 1 caret mu and q 2 l approximately equals mu f 2 mu Display style q underscore two math cal l approximately partial underscore mu f underscore two carrot mu. Then q one q two l equals q one q two l minus q two Q one L approximately equals mu F twelve mu display style Q underscore one Q underscore two math cal L equals Q underscore one Q underscore two math cal L Q underscore two Q underscore one math cal L approximately partial underscore mu F underscore twelve carrot mu where f12 equals q1 f2 mu minus q2 f1 mu so j 12 mu equals mu phi l q 1 q 2 phi minus q 2 q 1 phi minus f 12 mu display style j underscore 12 carrot mu equals left frac partial 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 underscore mu var phi math cal l right q underscore 1 q underscore 2 var phi q underscore 2 q underscore 1 var phi f underscore 12 carrot mu this shows we can extend Noether's theorem to larger Lie algebras in a natural way. Topic: <laughs> Generalization of the proof. 
This applies to any local symmetry derivation q satisfying qs approximately equals zero, and also to more general local functional differentiable actions, including ones where the Lagrangian depends on higher derivatives of the fields. Let epsilon be any arbitrary smooth function of the spacetime or time manifold such that the closure of its support is disjoint from the boundary. Epsilon is a test function. Then, because of the variational principle which does not apply to the boundary, by the way, the derivation distribution q generated by q epsilon phi x equals epsilon x q phi x satisfies q epsilon s approximately equals zero for every epsilon, or more compactly, q x s approximately equals zero for all x not on the boundary but remember that q x is a shorthand for a derivation distribution, not a derivation parametrized by x in general. This is the generalization of Noether's theorem. To see how the generalization is related to the version given above, assume that the action is the spacetime integral of a Lagrangian that only depends on phi and its first derivatives. Also, assume q l approximately equals mu f mu Display style q mathcal l approximately partial underscore mu f caret mu. Then q epsilon s equals q epsilon l d n x equals phi l epsilon q phi plus mu phi l mu epsilon q phi d n x equals epsilon q l plus mu epsilon mu phi l q phi d n x approximately equals epsilon mu f mu minus mu phi l Q phi dnx display style begin aligned q ver epsilon math cal s and equals in q ver epsilon math cal l mathrm d caret n x and equals int left left frac partial partial var phi math cal l right ver epsilon q var phi plus left frac partial 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 underscore mu var phi math cal l right partial underscore mu ver epsilon q var phi right mathrm d caret n x and equals int left ver epsilon q math cal l plus partial underscore mu ver epsilon left frac partial partial left partial underscore mu var phi right math cal l right q var phi right mathrm d caret n x and approximately int ver epsilon partial underscore mu left f caret mu left frac partial 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 underscore mu var phi math cal l right q var phi right mathrm d caret n x end aligned for all epsilon. More generally, if the Lagrangian depends on higher derivatives, then mu f mu minus mu phi l q phi minus 2 mu mu phi l mu q phi plus mu 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 phi l q phi minus approximately equals 0
Display style begin aligned partial underscore mu left f caret mu left frac partial 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 underscore mu var phi math cal l right right and left q var phi minus two left frac partial 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 underscore mu partial underscore mu var phi math cal l right partial underscore mu q var phi right six p t and left plus partial underscore mu left left frac partial 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 underscore mu partial underscore mu var phi math cal l right q var phi right c d o t s right approximately zero end aligned topic examples topic example one conservation of energy Looking at the specific case of a Newtonian particle of mass m, coordinate x, moving under the influence of a potential v, coordinatized by time t. The action, s, is s x equals l x t x t d t equals m Two I equals one three x I two minus V x T D T Display style begin aligned math cal s x and equals intel x t dot x t d t and equals int left frac m two sum underscore i equals one carrot three dot x underscore i carrot two v x t right d t end aligned the first term in the brackets is the kinetic energy of the particle, whilst the second is its potential energy. Consider the generator of time translations q equals d d t. In other words, q x t equals x t display style q x t equals dot x t. Note that x has an explicit dependence on time, whilst v does not. Consequently, q l equals m i x i x i minus i v x x i x i equals d d t m 2 i x i 2 minus v x Display style q l equals m sum underscore i dot x underscore i d d o t x underscore i sum underscore i frac partial v x partial x underscore i dot x underscore i equals frac d d t left frac m two sum underscore i dot x underscore i carrot two v x right. So we can set l equals m two I x I two minus V x display style L equals frac M two sum underscore I dot x underscore I carrot two V x then J equals I equals one three L X I Q X I minus L equals M I X I two minus M two I 
x i two minus v x equals m two i x i two plus v x display style begin aligned j and equals sum underscore i equals one carrot three frac partial l partial dot x underscore i q x underscore i l and equals m sum underscore i dot x underscore i carrot two left frac m two sum underscore i dot x underscore i carrot two v x right and equals frac m two sum underscore i dot x underscore i carrot two plus v x end aligned the right hand side is the energy and Noether's theorem states that j equals zero display style dot j equals zero i.e. the principle of conservation of energy is a consequence of invariance under time translations. More generally, if the Lagrangian does not depend explicitly on time, the quantity i equals one three L x i x i minus L display style sum underscore i equals one carrot three frac partial L partial dot x underscore i dot x underscore i L called the Hamiltonian is conserved. Topic. Example 2 – Conservation of center of momentum Still considering one-dimensional time, let S x equals L x T x T D T equals alpha equals one N M alpha two X alpha two minus alpha beta V alpha beta X beta minus X alpha DT display style begin aligned math cal S VEC X and equals int math cal L VEC X T dot VEC X T mathram DT and equals int left sum underscore alpha equals one carrot N frac M underscore alpha two dot VEC X underscore alpha carrot two sum underscore alpha IE N Newtonian particles where the potential Potential only depends pairwise upon the relative displacement. For Q, display style VEC Q, let's consider the generator of Galilean transformations, i.e., a change in the frame of reference. In other words, Q I X alpha J T equals T delta I J display style Q underscore I X underscore alpha carrot J T equals T delta underscore I carrot J note that Q I L equals alpha M alpha X alpha I minus alpha beta I V alpha beta X beta minus X alpha T minus T equals alpha M alpha X alpha I display style begin aligned Q underscore I math cal L and equals sum underscore alpha M underscore alpha dot X underscore alpha carrot I sum underscore alpha this has the form of DDT alpha M alpha X alpha I display style frac mathram D mathram DT sum underscore alpha M underscore alpha X underscore alpha carrot I so we can set F equals alpha M alpha X alpha display style V VEC F equals sum underscore alpha M underscore alpha VEC X underscore alpha. Then J equals alpha X alpha L Q X alpha minus F Display style VEC J equals sum underscore alpha left frac partial partial dot VEC X underscore alpha math cal L right C D O T VEC Q VEC X underscore alpha VEC F equals alpha M alpha X alpha T minus M Alpha x alpha 
Display style equals sum underscore alpha M underscore alpha dot VEC X underscore alpha TM underscore alpha VEC X underscore alpha equals P T minus M X C M display style equals VEC P T M VEC X underscore C M where p display style vec p is the total momentum m is the total mass and x c m display style vec x underscore c m is the center of mass noether's theorem states j equals 0 p minus M X C M equals zero. Display style dot VEC J equals zero right arrow VEC P M dot VEC X underscore C M equals zero. Topic Example three Conformal transformation. Both examples 1 and 2 are over a one-dimensional manifold time. An example involving spacetime is a conformal transformation of a massless real scalar field with a quartic potential in 3 plus 1 Minkowski spacetime. S phi equals L phi x mu phi x d4 x equals 1 2 mu phi mu phi minus lambda phi 4 d4 x display style begin aligned mathcal s var phi and equals int mathcal l var phi x partial underscore mu var phi x mathrm d caret 4 x and equals int left frac 1 2 partial caret mu var phi partial underscore mu var phi lambda var phi caret 4 right mathrm d caret 4 x end aligned for q consider the generator of a spacetime rescaling in other words, q phi x equals x mu mu phi x plus phi x. Display style q var phi x equals x caret mu partial underscore mu var phi x plus var phi x. The second term on the right hand side is due to the conformal weight of phi. Display style var phi. Note that q l equals mu phi mu phi plus x new 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 phi plus new phi minus 4 lambda phi 3 x new new phi plus phi display style q mathcal l equals partial caret mu var phi left partial underscore mu var phi plus x caret mu partial underscore mu partial underscore mu var phi plus partial underscore mu var phi right minus 4 lambda var phi caret 3 left x caret mu partial underscore mu var phi plus var phi right this has the form of mu 1 2 x mu mu phi mu phi minus lambda x mu phi 4 equals mu x mu l Display style partial underscore mu left frac one two x carrot mu partial carrot mu var phi partial underscore mu var phi lambda x carrot mu var phi carrot four right equals partial underscore mu left x carrot mu mathcal l right where we have performed a change of dummy indices so set f mu equals x mu l Display style f caret mu equals x caret mu mathcal l. Then 
j mu equals mu phi l q phi minus f mu equals mu phi x mu mu phi plus phi minus x mu 1 2 New phi new phi minus lambda phi four display style begin aligned j carrot mu and equals left frac partial 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 underscore mu var phi math cal l right q var phi f carrot mu and equals partial carrot mu var phi left x carrot mu partial underscore mu var phi plus var phi right x carrot mu left frac one two partial carrot mu var phi partial underscore mu var phi lambda var phi carrot four right Right, end aligned Noether's theorem states that mu j mu equals zero. Display style partial underscore mu j caret mu equals zero. As one may explicitly check by substituting the Euler-Lagrange equations into the left-hand side. Note that if one tries to find the Ward-Takahashi analog of this equation, one runs into a problem because of anomalies. Topic applications. Application of Noether's theorem allows physicists to gain powerful insights into any general theory in physics, by just analyzing the various transformations that would make the form of the laws involved invariant. For example, the invariance of physical systems with respect to spatial translation in other words, that the laws of physics do not vary with locations in space gives the law of conservation of linear momentum, Invariance with respect to rotation gives the law of conservation of angular momentum. Invariance with respect to time translation gives the well known law of conservation of energy in quantum field theory. The analog to Noether's theorem, the Ward Takahashi identity, yields further conservation laws, such as the conservation of electric charge from the invariance with respect to a change in the phase factor of the complex field of the charged particle and the associated gauge of the electric potential and vector potential. The Noether charge is also used in calculating the entropy of stationary black holes. Topic. See also. Conservation law. Charge physics. Gauge symmetry. Gauge symmetry mathematics. Invariant physics. Goldstone boson. Symmetry in physics. Equals equals notes.